We the Hebrew Israelites, first and foremost, we want to say all praises, to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Good. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. We double honors to our elders of GMS who rule well. Good. Double honors to the elders of GMS who rule well. We rock and thumb to all you occupants that's out there that's pushing this truth. In sincerity and the strength of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, come rock and thumb to all you occupants out there pushing this truth and sincerity and the strength of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Come, we are here to wake up the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, the so called Negroes. We got Benjamin, the so called West Indian Jamaicans. We got Levi, the so called Haitians. We are Reuben, the so called Seminole Indians. Gad are the so called North American Indians. We got Issachar, the so called Mexican Indians. Zebulon is Guatemala to Panama, indigenous Indians. We got Manassas, who are the so called Cubans. We got Simeon, who are the so called Dominicans. Ephraim, who are the so called Puerto Ricans. We got Naphtali, which is Argentina to Chile, the indigenous Indian, Indians. And Asher, Colombia to Uruguay, indigenous Indians. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. Who our, our big brother Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem one third the elect, two thirds are gonna be set up for the destruction. It's coming nigh to America, and the destruction is right around the corner. Right? We always we always read Romans 13 and 11, man. It's high time to wake out of sleep. Let me read it. Let me read it. Romans 13. He's not gonna hide. He 
he's not gonna hide them uh, uh, from what's coming, man. He's not gonna protect them, man. He's not nope. gonna, yeah, he's not gonna put you in his quiver. Nope. You know, this is Luke 3 and 6. It says, and all flesh shall see the salvation of the most high. So it's all flesh. Everybody gonna see that salvation of the most high. They gonna see us, they gonna see us getting what? Beamed up in the chariots. And they gonna see the destruction. They gonna see the, the martial law. They gonna see the famine. They gonna see the pestilence. They gonna see the race wars. You know, they gonna see the, in the end game, they gonna look up and see them nuclear missiles coming to drop in their face. All flesh gonna see the salvation of the Lord. So, like I said, it's real important that you, in this particular time for the elect, for us to come back and get woken up. So in that hour of temptation, like you said, he'll keep you. We're going we're gonna to go into that truth. Yeah, but uh, I want to uh, prove that uh, Esau is the most high sword on the left-hand side. This Psalms uh, 16, I mean Psalms 17 and uh, 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So-called white man, you know? So that's what's gonna happen. You see, we not gonna, we not gonna, as long as we endure, Lord willing, we want to elect, as long as we endure and continue calling on that name, and holding fast to that name, and applying this word in our life, and teaching Israel, the elect, to come back to the Most High, the Most High gonna keep us, man. He not gonna deny us, same way we didn't deny him when we was on this earth teaching. You see? But, uh, them people like Zabak and uh, 14th Street Dairy Queen, uh, HODC 12, the, the comfort in his, uh, so-called comfort in his camp, uh, who else? Nate Satan, them people, they out of there, man. They blind leading the blind, man. And when you look up them work, when you look up them, matter of fact, man, get that, give me Matthew, give me Matthew uh, 15 and uh, what is it, 13. Yeah, and then hold, give me, and hold Isaiah uh, 9 and 14. And we're going to look up that word blind. It says, this is uh, Matthews. It says 15 and 14. It says, let them alone. It says, wait a minute, I'll go back to 13. It says, but he answered and said, every plant which may, which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. Meaning the ones he ain't purified and cleansed, they're going to be rooted up. They're going to follow uh, the blind leaders, okay? They're going to follow the blind leader. That's why you got so many people following them, uh, Zabak, uh, Yohanna, uh, Nate Satan, uh, if you got HODC 12, I don't, you know, but uh, if you got a lot of people following them, that's the reason why, because they not purged, they not cleansed, you see, they not cleansed from the world, you see, because those guys are of the world, they don't understand the counsel of the Most High. You got some of them teaching that the mark of the beast is not the chip. You got some of them teaching. I'm just put, uh, putting them all in the bunch because that, that's their doctrine. Oh, Bubba Lie, Bubba Lie Blackfish. Forgot about him. Uh, uh, teaching about mermaids. That ain't in the scriptures. And then Bubba Lie will say Edomites can be saved. That ain't in the scriptures. Then they'll say Cornelius is, uh, 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 is an Edomite, which we know he's an Israelite. That's blasphemy. Of the Holy Spirit. That's a whole nother doctrine. That's talk of a blind leader. You see? You got uh, some of them teaching the mark of the beast is not the chip. Some of them tell you you don't got to go into the Greek or the Hebrew. Like they say, that's a blind leader. You see? That's not the counsel of the Most High. That is our livelihood, looking up words. Because without us looking up words, uh, Satan is able to have dominion over you and able to uh, uh, deceive you. That's one of his tricks. You see? Having you not look up words, but that's what a blind
blind leader will tell you. You see? It says, Matthew 15 and 13. But he answered and said unto them, Every plant which may, my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. Huh? They be blind leaders of the blind. Meaning, meaning what? Like I always say when I use that scripture, sometimes I will mention them, and sometimes I won't because I know they dead. Yeah, I'd like y'all to come to church with us sometimes. Oh no, that's blasphemy. You don't understand what's going on. Read that again. It says, "Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind leader leads the blind, both shall fall into the ditch." Yeah, sometimes I will mention them, like I always say. Sometimes I will mention them, and sometimes I won't, because I know they stupid. You see, they don't understand the counsel of the most high. I know they stupid. And then what that scripture means is, you don't, you don't teach the way they teach it. That's what that means, because they teaching the doctors of men. That's not the counsel of the most high. And when they fall in the ditch, meaning they don't have the counsel of the most high. Okay? Then let's look up the word blind. Read that again. I got it. It says, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a, into the ditch. Now let me get over here. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the definition for the word blind. It's 50, this 51. 85, right? And it's uh, tupelos. Tupelos. Okay? And it says from 51, 87. Uh, OPEC. OPEC. Hey, look up the word OPEC. Yeah, look up the word OPEC. OPEC? Yeah. OP. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, stupid slow of understanding so anybody following Nate Satan and uh, the rest of them goons they slow of understanding they stupid that's why they don't look up words okay this uh, I read this again this is strong 51 and 85 it says uh, from uh, 51 uh, 87 opaque opaque as in smoke ie blind physical or mental blind blind man and then it says uh uh tupelos blind is used both physically and metaphorically chiefly in the gospels elsewhere for a time physically in acts physically in acts uh 13 and 11 metaphorically in romans 2 and 19 in 2 Peter 1 and 9, Revelation 3 and 17, the word is frequently used as a noun signifies a blind man. Now let's go to 51, uh, 87. It says, Tuflo. It says, to emblow with smoke, to inflate, with self-conceit, high-minded, be, lift, be lifted up, proud, being proud. Two flows prim primarily mean to wrap to wrap in smoke uh, from two flows smoke metaphorically for conceit. It is it is used 
in a uh, passive voice metaphorically in first Timothy 3 and 6 lifted up with pride uh, so first first uh, Timothy's uh, 6 and 4 proud in uh, second Timothy's 3 3 and 4 high-minded chiefly having one's head in the clouds minding heavenly uh, directors all right, then it says, from there, it said, uh, 50, 50, 51, 87, from a derivative of 51, 88. So let's go to 51, 88. And it's two folk, two folk. It says, to, to make a smoke, i.e., slowly consume with flame smoke, flow to arise uh, to puff up with pride is used in a passive voice in Matthews 12 and 20 smoke flex literally caused to smoke out of a wick of a lamp which has ceased to burn clearly about about to go out figuratively or my my normally uh, religiously without the spirit power. So, read that blind leading the blind. That's the depth. Hold on. Let me put that up there so you can see all them definitions. Right? All I really can't tell. Let me get you in. They all highlighted. Oh, there you go. They all highlighted. Try to go down that slope. All right, and then that top one. All right, so you can see. So, read that blindly. Okay. This is Matthews 15 and 14, and it says, let them, slide. it says, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. So here, the Lord, that's leaders with an S, right? So they telling you, they say, Zubak, Yohanna, uh, 14th Street Dairy Queen, uh, Bubba Lies, uh, Yohanna, all the ones that are marked to stay away from, they blind leaders of the blind, meaning they stupid. And that's why they congregation, the people that follow them, don't look up words. Because they stupid. The scripture says it. So here it is, the Lord himself is telling them, the blind leaders of the blind, they both fall in the ditch. Meaning they not going to have the counsel of the most side and the son or understand these scriptures. So they stupid. It's just like you trying to teach a two-thirds. They got on the garments, but they really two-thirds. And none of the elect is going to follow them. Because he let gonna look up words. He let gonna search. You see? So sometimes I mention them and sometimes I don't. Why? Because they they so damn stupid. But I mention them because the scriptures say mark them. Mark them they cause division. Sometimes I don't even think about them dudes. You see? But I don't teach the way they teach. You supposed to avoid that shit. Now let's look up the word, read that, read that again. It says, Matthew 15 and 14, mm -hmm. it says, let them alone. They be blind, leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Meaning that, meaning they not gonna have a counsel of the Most High. They not gonna understand the teachings of the Most High. Give me Isaiah 9. It's Isaiah 9. Isaiah 9 and 16, it says, for the leaders of this people caused them to err. What? They mind. They mind. They mind don't have the counsel of the Most High. You see, they mind don't have the counsel of the Most High. So the elect not going to follow them. Go ahead. It says, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Meaning consumed in what they're teaching. You see, they set up the poor uh, 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 to pull two-thirds 
away from the truth because they're not part of the elite. They're going to be destroyed. And what they're teaching. Go ahead, keep reading. Done. And it says, therefore, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, shall have no joy in their young men, mm -hmm. neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. For every one is an hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh folly. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Because they're going to die. They're going to die. What's coming on this earth, the tribulation that's coming on this earth, ain't going to be nothing like, and the Most High is not going to protect them. Okay? The Most High is not going to protect them from anybody that follows them. Okay? Now let's go to uh, Revelation uh, uh, 21. Oh, let's look up the word mentioned first. Because I want to know what that means. Mention from old French mentio stem of men the mind a brief reference to or statement to refer to or speak about briefly or incidentally. So sometimes I mention them, sometimes I don't. Uh, sometimes I mention them, sometimes I don't because they so damn stupid and I know they not gonna get it and I know the elect not gonna fall what they teach you. You see, because the elect look a word. The elect gonna have the counsel of the most high and his son. Okay, read the definition of that again. It and says, then when you go into the Hebrew, and when you go into the Hebrew, it's uh Zahar, Zahar, which means uh uh remember or remind. You see? So sometimes I remind you, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I speak on them, sometimes I don't. But, go ahead. It says a brief reference to or statement about, to refer to or speak about briefly or incidentally, to mention, not to mention, without even mentioning. So, I mark them to call, the uh, mark them to call division. That's why I speak them. Hold on, hold on, I ain't finished. Hold on, I ain't finished. Yeah, hold on, I ain't finished. Now, let's go here. Now, let's look up the word briefly. One thing about Jake, Jake don't look up words, and whenever somebody say something, they say, oh, that's it. That's the end all be all. Shit and all. It ain't like that. It's the word brief, brief, briefly. Briefly, with adjective, old French, brief. Uh, brevis, Latin, brevis. A short duration, terse, concise, curt. A summary, short catalog of the main point of a law case for use in court. Mm -hmm. It says, to summarize, to furnish with a legal brief, to hire as a counsel in military uses to give a person. It says, all the uh, pertinent facts about a planned operation. No, briefly, man. Read it again and stop. It says, brief, a short duration. That's all I want. That's it. See? So sometimes I speak about them. So, I mean, sometimes I mention them. Sometimes I don't. Because I know they dumb, and I know the followers that listen to them are dumb, too. They don't look up words. They don't have the counsel of the most side this side. And they're going to be taken because Nate Satan and the rest of them other dudes are set up to uh, 